previously were making uh, pretty much piano-based music, mm. but uh, you have slipped to the electronic side as such. Yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's completely okay. changed, yeah. So that's that's happened in the past, what, two or three years? It's, yeah, yeah, it's two years solidly, but I was working towards it for the last three. Okay. So, yeah. So you've just released today a, yep. a suite of songs uh, called A Stranger. Yep. Yeah, which so it's been a good few years' work. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Pretty solid, and I'm assuming. <laughs> is this one of the first live performances? Uh, it is one of the it first is, live performances, yeah. yeah. One wow. of the longer live performances. <laughs> oh, exciting. Yeah. Well, shall we, um, yes, what are we about to hear? Uh, this first song is called Lovely Thing. Okay, here we go. Yay. Yay. Yes. Thank so you. <laughs> um, you're tuned in to Nicole Andrews Active Live for this particular Friday. So what was it that, that prompted you to shift towards the electronic side? Um, I've always been very into like Bjork and Nine Inch Nails and things like that. And it, and it just kind of felt like after I released my first album, um, that was all piano, that I had done that. And I wanted, I felt limited by what I could do with the piano and um, producing that album, I did play with some electronic things and I thought I'd just move in that direction. And also it's quite good to, um, you know, to perform as a solo artist and do it all yourself. So yeah, yeah. you have an entire orchestra yeah, <laughs> and, and a keyboard and an MPC. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, although I'm suspecting that you're having to rethink the songs when you perform them live. Yeah. In terms of reducing them. Yeah, you mean from um, from the album to... From the album to yeah, the live yeah. version. Um, yeah, because I wrote them. They were not written to be performed live. They were written to be the song that I wanted them to be. So, um, yeah, and then we went and recorded it, and it changed again. And so moving on to live, you have to be able to do it all. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you do, yeah. yeah. Okay, so are we going to hear another song from the EP? Yep. Um, okay. Yep, this one is called... Beg for more. Let's get a little set up here real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some notes written on my arm. That's how I... Uh, it's the best place <laughs> for them. I like to write my set lists on my arm. So it's where they belong. It's kind of cleaner. Yeah. No bits of paper. Yeah. Exactly. I could, I could tape it to the front of my keyboard, but I don't want to tape yeah. the keyboard. No. <laughs> right. Blame, so much blame 
<laughs> so um, yes, that song had a lot of space in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's where did the where did the space come from? Is it something that um, Thomas Voice sort of suggested or um, brought to the the table? Because I know he's very much one for uh, sound design as yeah, such. He, he definitely is. Yeah. Um, uh, no, that where the space came from was actually. When I wrote it, um, I wrote the arpeggiated loop, really, um, and then just kind of improvised the lyrics on top of that. And it just kind of created this vastness because that's what I wrote it to. We actually had to um, add the beats and everything, yeah. all the other sounds. Um, I added the synth layers to it, and then he added the beats. Um, so you... You chose your producer very carefully, obviously. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, I'd worked with him. I'd worked with him before, so um, I was quite impressed with what he'd done on my first album, which was produce. Well, he recorded the piano on my first album, and then he uh, produced the electronic track on that album, and I, and I so I knew from that that I wanted to work with him further. So yeah, 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 because it definitely had something to um, to the recordings. You know, yeah. Tom's um, has just the ability to mm. just separate things. And, yeah, yeah, he's quite talented. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. He's done a great job. So were you sitting there with him going, sort of more of this, less of that? Um, yeah, you know? we talked about uh, the process a lot. And then getting in the studio, it was a lot of experimenting to see how um, things sounded. You know, you'd put something in and he'd say, oh, I think this needs like a... A, a dark yeah. ride or something, and then you'd put that in there and then mess with it a bit more. It was a lot of like feeling it out, like um, putting on your clothes to see how it fit, how it looked, kind of yeah. a vibe to it. <laughs> so, so you weren't limited by time. We weren't feeling limited by time. Uh, we, you know, we had um, a specific period of time to work with, and um, it was like I can't remember now. It was ages ago now. Uh, this has been coming forever. Um, <laughs> it's, yeah. It was like two weeks or something, and it did kind of creep outside of that, but um, not too bad, like some extra vocals and yeah. stuff. So some of the in instrumentals needed some more work later. So. Sculpting of sound design. And, yeah. yeah, and then finding yeah. out some of the songs don't work and then really mm. wanting them to work and trying to do it again, and then they didn't work. <laughs> Rethinking. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of care gone into, into yeah, the shadow. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, Sure. Oh, a shed, a stranger, a stranger. Yes, a stranger. Yeah. Where did the name come from? Um, I don't know. It just came to me. It kind of I've had a hard time trying to figure out how to describe what it means. But it's kind of you don't really know yourself or others fully, and s events in your life can shape how you know yourself and how others react yeah. to you. Yeah. So, so we we're live to where, in case people aren't watching on the interweb at the moment. Uh, Nicole Andrews, who has just released A Stranger and is our Active Live artist for today. Yes, let's have another song. Cool. Um, this is Cauterize. Sorry, I'm just like looking at my arm and then moving everything around. But um, next song is called Cauterize. Cauterize this haunting itself.
Yay. So you have your EP, A Stranger, released. It's sitting there on Bandcamp now for people to buy. Yes. The inevitable is you have to do a tour to support it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So you're starting off Meow on the 10th. Yep, next yep. Thursday. Mm-hmm. And um, it's then taking you to some um, fairly cold places. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then I'm going to Christchurch and then Queenstown and then Auckland, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Auckland was nice last weekend. Yeah, so. Auckland was nice last weekend. No, isn't it Littleton that you're going to? As opposed oh, yeah, to Christchurch. Littleton. Littleton. I know. Yeah, it's yeah, such yeah. a yep. not yep. Christchurch local yeah. mistake. Yep. To say yeah. That. yeah, yeah. There's a whole tunnel between the two places. Yeah, exactly. So it's a mm. different world down there. Yeah. Yeah. So you're looking forward to, to getting out and actually playing the songs live. I am, yeah. Um, yeah. I like touring. It's fun. Yeah. I've never toured by like flying, uh, so this will be a first. Bringing my gear on a plane, we okay. do a big drive. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you'll have that moment where you're looking out the window and seeing them with their little baggage trolley thing. Yeah, and go, oh my God, going, that's my synth. <laughs> bump, 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 <laughs> bang, crash. Oh God, I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing oh, well. my sampler and my carry-on as well, so I'm okay. like, a bit scared. It's <laughs> probably a good idea, as long as there's no sort of sharp objects. Yeah, and your yeah, sampler? People, no. No, no, no. No, that would be really bad. No, exactly. <laughs> really bad. Yeah, I'm just more concerned about the people who, like, shove their luggage in the top. Oh, on top, Maybe yeah. they'll wrap it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess you can sort of put it under your feet, but yeah. that's, that's, that's almost as bad. Yeah. We'll yeah. <laughs> yeah. I once watched um, somebody get clonked by a bottle of whiskey that fell out of oh, really? cabin baggage, so that does actually happen. It does it? <laughs> oh, it was <laughs> no. terrible. If, yeah. if my sampler falls out of the cabin, yeah. like that's just meant to that be. That would be even worse. <laughs> it's just meant to even be. Even worse. <laughs> yeah. 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 Whiskey bottles don't break as easy as, as samplers. samplers. Exactly. Yeah. And mm. skulls. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we have one more song. Yep. And um, yes. So what's this one? Um, this one's called Bass Player. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank Nicole you. Nicole Andrews. Me. Active Live. Yeah.
Active Live. Friday, 3.30. Every week a new band. In studio. Brought to you by NZ On Air. Camisol. Axolotl. Canvas. Admission. Cabaret. Adventure. Clapping. Audience. Costumes. Actor. Craft. Adoration. Culture. Art. Camera. Action. Caffeine. Aspirin. Caffeine and Aspirin brings the most interesting artistic happenings right into your ears. Meet the folks in the know, in the thick of making dance, poetry, theatre and music with your guide, Caffeine and Aspirin. Every